Hi guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Magic's Spectral Layers 4 and its Pro Tools integration. Now, a really quick explanation is how oftentimes when you're working on tracks and you need to do some spectral correction, it's kind of a hassle to have to stop, export your audio, open up a program, edit it, export that, and then import it back in and hope everything's in line and in phase. And that is where the newest version of Spectral Layers has come in. If I play some audio back, our video tracks, which is Control Shift Q. All right, and then we play back this track where some noise came in from outside because I forgot to close the window and they're doing a little bit of construction. The first one is gonna be named Instabatch. You can see how that is quite annoying. So this is actually a really easy fix. All I do is go to Audio Suite, Other, and you'll see Spectral Layers Edit. You hit Edit, this will open up Spectral Layers in a splash screen. By the way, I'm loving the new way that Spectral Layers looks. And there we go, it opens up Spectral Layers in a nice little screen, and we can actually see exactly what the issue is. Now, I can see it's two little lines. If I control and click, I can drag my timeline. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually adjust this to bring up the clarity of it. I'm gonna actually take it down to make it a little bit darker but have a bigger contrast so that I can actually see the difference. Now, there's lots of tools we have. We have the Magic Wand tool, which will select things and basically try to do a smooth auto selection. We have a tool that will select all the harmonics of a specific frequency. And we have the normal frequency selection tool. In this case, this looks like it's one moving frequency. So I think the frequency selection tool will be good for us. We just click, drag it around, try to be nice and precise. I'm gonna control click to drag. And I'm going to shift click so I can highlight both of these at the same time. Now, I'm going to just hit Control X. I'm going to zoom out and we see how it's nice and gone. If I hit Command Z, then you can see how it's come back. We put where the cut is and there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure this has fixed the issue. So we're just going to export this and send it back to Pro Tools. We don't have to save this. And then all we do is put import back. Now we have a VO with Spectral Layers Edit under it. And let's see what that sounds like. The first one is going to be named Instabatch. Undo that to see what it originally sounded like. The first one is going to be named Instabatch. Right away, that has helped a ton, and it has really got us a lot farther. I'm going to import that back one last time. And there we go. It's really that easy and that simple. This is such a time saver. This is a very powerful tool to use when you're editing audio, especially because if you're an audio engineer, artist, time is money. And being able to do your job quickly and efficiently is probably the most important thing. That way you don't have to get out of the creative zone. That's it for this video. This has been Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.